What is up guys? Uh, I'm back with a really quick video on the new Hall of Heroes, the Wind Mermaid Hall of Heroes. And I'm just testing some teams out right now. Uh, I'm trying to find a team that is like farmable or mostly farmable um, that can do this level. Right now what I'm thinking is something like Feral, Bella, Talc. Um, I would, Talc's not really farmable he, but he's like easily obtainable. A lot of people do have this monster. Spectra, a lot of people have Spectra as well. Um, I'm thinking if I should use a use a wind unit to to do anything. Let me think. Let me think. Um, Kona, no Darian. If I put in Bernard, my Bernard can can do something. Can speed buff my team up. Um, I could also use Darian to block out some damage, but we don't know who the who the fire phantom thieves are gonna hit. Uh, hard choice, hard choice. Could always put in a reviver like McKean. I think this is pretty stable. Pretty sure this is gonna be stable. Let's let's try it. Let's try it. All right, I got my timer right here, so I'm gonna start the timer, and then we're we're gonna see how long this team actually takes. I'm probably gonna try this team, and then try another team, and then uh, see how well they do. Might try another team involving Breda because Breda does do a lot of damage with with his dots. Um, it works especially well if you're running like mostly tanks, because this way you can just keep tanking, healing up, and then you rely on the damage damage of um, Breda to 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 clear the level fast enough. I don't know why I'm like just not sleeping at all every single day. It was it was because I was watching Worlds yesterday and I, I didn't sleep, <laughs> and then I, I always wake up because um, I, I try to keep my try to keep my sleep schedule like normal ish even if I have something to do at night and then it just ends up with me not sleeping at all for for a long time. Uh, that's why I'm always like sleepy as fuck every single time I record a video. Hopefully I'll fix that. I'll fix that when Worlds ends. Why does Worlds have to be in Europe? If it, if it was in Asia, like my sleep would be normal. Like like last year. But yeah. All right. Um back back to back to this, back to this. It looks pretty good. It looks really really good. It looks like I can do this pretty easily. I might have a little bit of trouble here, but as long as your McKean is tanky enough, you should have... Wait. Wait, wait a minute. This doesn't look too good. Oh shit, this does not look good. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. Very well stunned. I think immunity might be needed. Immunity might be a really good idea on this stage. Um, the armor break and the, the stuns and stuff seem like a bit much yeah that that sleep is is killing my team oh wait no McKean has that protect protect self thing so I guess you could run your reviver run Brian run McKean run Platy run I don't know some easy to get reviver maybe you have Eladril or something like that um, it should make this pretty stable Yeah, this 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 farmable or obtainable team um, is is actually pretty good. So it's got two fusion monsters, uh, two farmable, and like one three star monster. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh wait, I think I ripped a rune off my Talc, so he only has four rune, five runes right now. Oh wait, that that I think that's what happened. I should put a rune on my Talc. I actually put one of his runes on Camilla, I think. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It's not like he's gonna take any damage. All right, the sleep from the the sand the sand queen. I think she's called the the sand queen. Is she the sand queen? No, no, she's the desert queen. Whatever the hell she's called, um, it's, it's really annoying, because you know the sleep puts all your units to sleep, and then. These are all single target like damage dealers. Um, the previous stage as well with the pirates. 
So if they sleep one of your all your other units, say, say your healer, your slow, your stun, your um, your buffer, um, and then leave one unit vulnerable, then that unit has like quite a high chance of dying. So uh, it might not be it might not work that well. Wait, didn't she didn't she have that buff, the revive buff? Unless she has remove on her first skill. What the heck? The fuck happened? Attacks the enemy. Remove all beneficial effects. No. All right, all right. I think <laughs> I think this team's not gonna work. I need immunity. Without immunity, it's too hard. But there's no immunity farmable. There's no farmable immunity. Well, the closest thing I got is Draco from like last Hall of Heroes. I'm gonna take out Talc. I'm gonna put in Draco. And then I'm not gonna use McKean. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me let me ruin my talc first. All right, this this video is actually taking longer because I am being a new noob scrub. All right, resistance accuracy. I can I can use this for now. Whatever. Um, I don't need the power up. Whatever. Just 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 leave it like that. We're gonna try this again. See if I get anything good in the shop. Might, might have a good luck charm. Six star orange violin. Nope. <laughs> Alright, take out Talg, put in put in Draco. How about that? Immunity is pretty important, I think. Like the sleep is just too much. I I don't think anyone can handle that shit. Oh wait, Kona might work. But I also derune my Kona. Well I didn't derune all my Kona, but Kona's missing like one or two runes. This this looks like it's working better. Yeah, that AoE armor break does do a lot of damage. Oh, wait, I forgot to clear the timer. Uh, we'll we'll start this again. We'll start start this again. Okay, I can't call this team obtainable or farmable anymore cuz there's no obtainable or farmable monster with immunity. This is this is a huge problem. They need to they need to have at least one monster that has immunity that is farmable. Like it's you know, they they shouldn't make that single buff unique to to only four star and five star monsters. They should make a three star monster that just has immunity. Like it can have really shitty first and second skills, but as long as it, their the th their third skill has immunity, then um, it should work. Like that monster will be worth six starring if you don't pull anything good, um, especially for like free to play players. But I do have like immunity monsters now, so I don't I don't care that much. It was a huge problem for me, especially when I first started the game. See how easy it is now? Like they can't sleep me, they can't do anything. They just waste a whole turn. And then I stun them, they they have no sleep, they have they can't armor break, they can't do anything anything weird. I know Veramos is really nice, but it's it just isn't the same. Like being able to remove debuffs isn't the same as being able to like, you know, just be immune to CC. So this looks like a team that can pretty much do this like, you know, fairly easily. I might try my try a different team like when I'm actually farming this. I might use my Wusa or something like that. Because my Wusa does do a little bit of damage because his, his scaling is with HP. And um, I think he'll do more damage than Draco and help my team survive better. But if you did the Draco Hall of Heroes like a few months back, then um, Draco is definitely a good choice. If you have a Chloe, if you have uh, anything with immunity, Delphoi. Delphoi probably will, will actually work better because Delphoi's immunity also removes. This way if, um, if they actually like you know, during the fight, your units are like asleep. Um, Delphoi can use use the use the remove with immunity to wake them up 
and then have immunity afterwards to stop like armor break and all that stuff. And then this way you you wouldn't have to bring Veramos because this way like you know you would have Delphoi to remove. But if you want to be safe, you can use like Delphoi and Veramos. It just um, so you have like two layers of defense. They can't bomb you um, at the at the light stage with the light bombers. Technically, it's the dark stage. Yeah, see here, I'm immune to her sleep, and it just it just makes things so easy. This Hall of Heroes isn't actually too hard, um, but it is very very. Um, it's very it's very long. It's very long. It's very long because. There's a lot of heals. Like the mermaids have heals, they have revives, they have shields, they have you know that, that bubble stuff. Um, they also remove your debuffs or your buffs, and they they silence you from like using your third skill. The fire ones do that. The the light ones have this glancing hit passive that makes it makes it really hard to you know do anything right now. And the dark one has a heal with immunity and a revive. So it's super annoying. And they also remove debuffs. The Neilstone agents look a lot better now that they changed the models. They used to look pretty ugly. But now it's 10 10 with bang. 10 10. Oh shit, oh, oh shit, this, this doesn't look too good. This does not look good at all. Too much glancing. All right, so, so this part's a little bit hard. You kind of need to uh, rely, on, rely on defensive buffs and heals rather than, like, you know, debuffs. Because glancing just stops all that. Spectro's slow is really good here because it doesn't do any damage, so it, it can't glance. Um, it doesn't glance against any elements, and it can't glance against like glancing passives. Or if Spectro has glan like the glancing hit debuff on him, um, his third skill still can't glance. And and Draco's Draco's second skill on despair is really useful here, I think as well, because it's it always lands his crushing hit, so it can't glance either. Seems like a pretty good counter. All right. Yeah. See, I'm 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 t always tired as fuck. <laughs> tired as fuck every single video when I'm recording. So I think this is pretty much the the go-to team. Um, remove Draco. Put in anyone else that you have immunity with. Run two healers. Spectro is really useful here because of the the slow that doesn't glance, and the it doesn't glance against any element, so the slow will always apply, um, unless it's resisted or it doesn't activate, because there's only a 50% chance. And Veramos as well, because Veramos is really useful against the any debuffs that they put on you. There are quite a few, um, especially this bomb tart right here with the bombers. Veramos does counter this very easily with his his um, his remove. This dungeon just takes so long to farm. I, I don't think I'm going to farm like 10. I, I don't think I can. Well, I probably could, but it's, it would just take too long. Um, I would probably still bring Veramos, e even if you have like... I just realized I would probably still bring Veramos, even if you're using um, Delphoi. Because there, there's a chance that her immunity might be off, and then like... Um, you know, someone violent proc too many times, doesn't have immunity and the bombers put bombs on you and then Delphoi already buffed immunity so it's on cooldown and your unit that unit dies from bombs um, that could happen so to avoid that happening I would probably still use Veramos guessing a lot of people have Veramos if you're planning to do B3 you probably already have a lot of 6 star monsters so this is probably targeted towards people who um, oh my god the bomb exploded because of violent proc. Please, Bella heal, Bella heal, Bella heal, Bella heal! Oh 
Oh shit, this is bad. Talc still needs one more turn before he can heal. Maybe my Draco can attack Barfil. Or Vermos can 5 man stun. Or I lose Bella right now. Alright, yep, I'm going to lose Bella right now. Nope. Still alive. So close. Bella's still a pretty decent healer. Um, you can use anyone else that you want, like just soon or anything like that. And then um, Talc's really nice for his defense buff. I don't think many there are very many healers that are as good as Talc for doing these really hard stages of PV PVE. Um, you know, stages like TOA hard, higher floors, or Hall of Heroes, of course, because the the level of these uh, monsters are pretty high. So Talc's like a really excellent healer to to do these type of stages. There are a lot of strategies to doing B3 Hall of Heroes. You know, if you look at the like the top Guardian players that do this, they usually probably just use a new team. Um, but I don't have those monsters. Most of my monsters that I built are towards TOA. Like I've been trying to do TOA hard for quite a long time. I did actually clear it last last reset, so I'm pretty happy with that. So, but a lot of my units um, are geared towards TOA. So the strategy I have against this dungeon will be different. It'll be mostly tank tanks, healers, um, CC debuffs buffs like defense buff and all that just defensive debuffs and de defensive buffs and stuff like that um, instead of just a team full of nukers because I, I really don't have that many nukers so this is a 10 minute run this this dungeon just takes forever there's so much heal so much revive so much so much annoying shit to deal with and I didn't expect this video to be so long. I, I'm I'm just talking on my ass right now. I'm just I don't know what to say. I'm, there, there's nothing left to say. There really isn't anything left to say. Just bring heals, bring immunity. Um, if you can nuke through this, you know, obviously nuke through this. If you have a really good reviver like Brian, it might make this ten times easier. Because even if you lose a unit, it's it's still okay. Uh, but I don't like to. Well, I don't rely on revives. It's like not not my style. I don't have Brian. I do have McKean, but I I don't like to revive. Like have a unit die than revive or anything like that. I, I think it kind of just uh, screws up the momentum. I like to I like to always like stay in control 100% of the time um, in every single fight. And it's just I guess my 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 play style in in this game. So that's pretty much it. This is this is B3, Hall of Heroes. I really couldn't can't suggest a farmable team. I really don't think it's possible. It's gonna be very very hard without immunity buff, and there are no farmable immunity monsters. So if Comtus sees this one day, just please Comtus. Just next time you release the three star monster, just have one that has immunity and make it like a secret dungeon or some shit like that, or change one of our one of the three star monsters that have like buffs to to immunity buff like. I don't know, the Wind Mammoth or something. I think the Wind Mammoth has a remove. You know, give it like a two turn immunity as well. And then it'll be a pretty good monster. No, it'd be an insanely good monster. It would have attack bar decrease, provoke, and then immunity. But this this only removes. Attack gauge and remove. If anyone raised this one, I think it, it might actually work. Uh, I I'm not sure if I can do it with Kona. I don't have Kona ruined anymore, so I don't think I can test it right now. Um, but yeah, just uh, remember always use, use protection, guys. Peace out. <laughs>